How many know we assume sometimes people that do something when we see TV? And I saw Theo Huxtable, and I thought everybody should be like the, the Cosmics. <laughs> Y'all ain't gonna talk to me today. And, and when things work that way, you, you yeah. met his father one time, how much did he really learn about being a father? So I believe he did the best way of what he had. And even to adversity, he remained around. Which I thank God for. Because he could have just bounced. Because I was or some of you don't think that it goes both ways. You mad at them. But really, if you think about it, you being so now, not only are you messed up, but now they messed up. Because I'm just not the only person that committed you. It's for you. So I want to say this one because some of your fathers that were first day fathers who you struggled with, and the record so we have my father, 14 years before he died, we were able to bring our relationship. That together. But because, like I said, I brushed him off for so long, he didn't know how to take it. Imagine my father didn't even know how to tell me he loved me. And he thought back in those days that a man's on a man and he loved him with a soft day. And so, with other you know, 14 years with the help of the Lord, because the Lord dealt with me as I was moving in the ministry. And some of you are wondering why you're stuck. It's very It's because you haven't made amends with your father. There's some things that can open up for you. God told me, can we talk more? He told me that I could not shift to the next level of ministry until I made it right with my I pass people on earth and get to God. You can't be mad at your brother you see every day. And they say you love God. Am I in the book? Yes. So yes. Said, now I gotta make amends and make things right with people on earth in order to prayers being answered. Why not moving forward in ministry? Maybe there's a blockage. Maybe you're still angry. Maybe you're still a child that's mad because you felt your father didn't do this, that, the other. But now we look at your life, especially us. So the grace that we want has to be the grace that we give Amen. to move on and become what God has called us to be. Because being a father ain't easy. Yes. Holy Spirit, I said being a father. My father, right before he died, he got remarried. I was the best man. We went on cruises together. We hung out. We kicked him. It was a blessing. Every time we got on the phone with each other before we left, we to walk away. After he died suddenly, with no regrets. Amen. I, I'm going to have help some you this morning. Live with no regrets. How you care. Amen. And remember, it's not how they feel about you. It's how you feel about them. So some of you need to fix some stuff. You need to make that phone call. You ain't talked to your father in weeks, months, and even years. And it don't make So I want you to move forward. And I want you to go past this. Okay, that wasn't a message, but hopefully it helped. How many know the family now has been torn apart? Broken up. People are trying to dismantle and even manhood is being challenged. I'm seeing a lot more now where people are having an identity crisis as to whether they want to be this or whether they want to be that. A lot of that is because they just weren't taught according to God's word. Amen? And also, some of it was just confusion. So, you know, I don't understand it, but you get confused too. And you're confused because it doesn't mean it's over. It just means you have to figure out how it got this way. So, let's read Genesis chapter 1. I'm going to be a little bit teaching. I'm going to jump right into our message, okay? So, Genesis chapter 1, 26 to 28, the Bible says, and God said, let us make man in our image, and after the likeness in our, our life, over the 
fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over every thing on earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in what? His own image. And the image of God created he him. Male and God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be what? Fruitful and multiply, replenish the earth, subdue it, and have no meaning. And over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. So, initially, God gave man a purpose. So I said, we have no purpose. We're just living. You're just living, going from day to day. Some of you wake up, you don't even know what you're doing today until the day comes. What am I supposed to be doing today? Not that you get some mundane stuff you do, but I'm talking about some real purposeful stuff you do. Amen. So now you actually know why you're called and what God has put you on this earth to do. How I many of we waste time doing stuff that we really don't need to be doing? Yeah. Oh, come on. There's some stuff that you're doing right now that has nothing to do with your Let me know sometimes that space can create problems. Because we always say it, uh, uh, I don't mind is what? The devil's playground. So wherever there's a space, drugs, alcohol, sex, whatever it would be, you fill that space with stuff. Because you haven't tapped in to who you really are. So now God looks at the man and he gives the man a charge. He tells him to be fruitful. So Subdue and have a mini. So God told man right away, look, don't be out. Whatever I give you, many more. Anytime a man gets stagnated and he doesn't have more and more and more, he gets complacent. How many gets a million on it? Don't raise your hands. But get comfortable. Belly all out. <laughs> when you're married, and they had a six pack, now they end up with a one pack. I'm 
to say the women God and you are still connected to him. And then you're wanting something that he can't give you. Because right. right. he's not connected to God, he's sure that they're going to be connected to him. Yeah. Right. If you're not connected to then you don't say it. But he's not going to be connected to You want all you wait for, you'll get what comes next. Because you can't just go for the second best, you gotta go for the first best. That might be. Yes. Ooh, this ain't going to win. Let's go faster. After all, the garden lost the system of being. Because there wasn't something to conquer. He lost. So he was shipless. He didn't know what to do next because he was in a place where everything was taken care of. He just had to mature and nurture what God already gave him. Let me know now the man, the curse was that he had to go out there and work. He had to go out and work on the sweat of his brow. Because now he came from under the covering of God, who was his source, and now he became his own source. And because he became his own source, he had to now maintain everything that he got. That's why some people are struggling right now because you're trying to make or you can just rest in him Amen. and watch him bring it to you. Amen. Instead, you have to walk in and get it. Amen. Oh, no, they don't talk about it. Because you're working harder than you should as a man because if you really submit to God, God will bring you everything that you need. Oh, here they are. They are afraid and scared at the same time. They're scared. I'm scared to be men. Because they made mistakes in the past. And of course, those mistakes before, and unfortunately, some women are still holding hostage to who they used to be. And some women are to become what God has called them to be, but give them time to grow. I'm so glad my wife waited on me. Yeah, yeah. Amen. I met her, I was shiftless. I had a thought of a purpose, but I wasn't really who I'm becoming. Because I truly know that the Bible says the wife is the savior of the kings. Yes. We're all like saying that. Yes. So now, but her key role is understanding she can become the queen. My wife, she submitted and did what she had to do to make me become what God called me to be. So now she can become what she wants to be. Because I don't even know what It don't matter. Because I never tackle her income into what we do. Because a real man, you want to make sure that you cover and protect that which God has given you. Like, yeah, yeah. Stop. This is what needs to be taught because if you don't teach this to your little girl, they'll grow up thinking that the way the world is and loves God more than he loves you. Well, they was like, nah, nah, they're good people. Let's bring them on in. 
And so they brought David on in. They gave him a place called Ziglag. David began to hang out there. Now David did what most men do. He went out to conquer. David was a man to man. He was a man to God's own heart. Even the mistakes that he made, he still reconnected and stayed connected yes. to God. Amen? Amen? So now what happened was with David, he now goes out and does what a man does, which is conquer, subdue, replenish, uh, multiply. David was going after some stuff. Let me know while David was going after some stuff, he left the family uncovered. Uh -huh. Let me know what's happened now in today's society. The man is going after it, uh -huh. and home is being left uncovered. Uh -huh. Wife is being left uncovered. Kids are being left uncovered. So now we don't know what's going on. The mama working, he working. He's home by himself. You know, MTV, not MTV, that's old school, huh? BDT. <laughs> I'm sorry, YouTube is raising your kids. And TikTok and TikTok and all that. You know, But what's really more important? The family? Or what are you trying to go after? So David, now he goes after the stuff. Then he finds out, look, let's go to 1 Samuel 30. One, two, three, I'm going to the men's and all that good stuff. Oh, my goodness. It's called Green's in the house. It's calling me right now. It's calling me. So I've got to hurry up with this. New Living Translation. Three days later, when David and his men arrived home at their town in Ziglag, they found that the Amalekites, and the Amalekites were a type and shadow of the flesh, even in the back of my in Ziglag. And they crushed Ziglag and burned it to the ground. And they carried off the women and the children and everyone else, but without killing them. Realize what had happened to their families. They wept until they Right. In other words, the people were drawn away from their homes to conquer and fight something. But the flesh, the enemy, to come in and consume their homes. Yes. And not only consume it, but literally burn it or desecrate that which they were building. And if we're not careful as men and women of God, we will go and do all we got to do, and then we find out that our homes and our kids are all jacked up. Right. Y'all ain't going to talk to me today. I found out real quick as a pastor, I told the Lord, I said, Lord, I'll do whatever you want me to do. I ain't ready to object to kids. Wow. But y'all ain't gonna say that. I ain't be one of them cats out here preaching the gospel and home is tore up for the floor. Y'all ain't gonna talk. I might go there. <laughs> Up there preaching it like what he preached for. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me today. Hey, it's a thing. Oh, y'all go back to y'all have been around church for a while. You been listening to the first day of sheep. Tweet me. <laughs> and I refuse to be one of those. I want to be someone that when you see me here, is the same way as over there. Right. And it makes a difference when you be, can be who you are everywhere you go. Y'all yeah, ain't going to say that. Yeah. So when you really know that God is with you, then now you can make sure that everything is covered. Yeah. Amen? Amen? You know, my boys bring God there in the house today. And it's to the point to where they didn't have the events and stuff that dad wasn't there. I was the one taking them to school. I was the one picking them up. When the teacher called, I was the one going. Yeah. Matter of fact, the one in the corner over there, the light-skinned one, I was actually sitting in this class. <laughs> <laughs> in high school, yeah, in high school, I was back in the room. Go ahead, act up now. And some of you, you sitting in the women. Hey, go look after that boy. See what's going on with that boy. No, no, no. You go look after that boy. You be the one to make sure he's stay on the right path. You be the one that go down to that school and talk to that teacher. Oh, look at somebody say, oh, that's a game changer. And some of you that say, well, I'm a single mom, but be around, make him be a dad. Amen. Stop releasing him from responsibility. Bring him into the fold. But I'm mad at him. Will you be mad at him but make him be a dad? Okay, they don't like me. They don't like me. They don't like me. So they were drawn away. And as they were drawn away, the enemy came in. Look at somebody say, the enemy came in. The enemy came in. And he began to now take away that which God established. 
And when the flesh came, comes in, how I many you know when the flesh comes in, he, the devil comes in to kill, steal, and destroy? How destroy. I many you know homes right now are being destroyed yeah. because we're opening doors to allow the enemy to come in? Anybody watch the old vampire movies? To where in order for the vampire to come in, you had to invite him in? Right. How I many you know some people right now are inviting the devil in? Right. You're you let, you let them come in with TikTok, <coughs> YouTube. <laughs> Because once you open that door, you know, I just had a struggle with a, a TikTok struggle. It was a fight between me and TikTok. I told TikTok they got to come. I'm mean and hateful, but I tell you what, I'm going to raise a queen. Y'all ain't hear me. And so when you do that, you have to do things that might not be popular, but they're going to be necessary. Yeah, my boy's going to tell you right now, that dad was tricky. Yeah, that's right. But I'm gonna be like Joe Jackson, I'm gonna beat you in the free <laughs> Michael Jackson said we want to stay, but look at all the whole family. Out right. there, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> but it makes a difference. <laughs> see, 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 see. Some of y'all looking at you funny, but y'all, hey, praise Jesus. Look at the fruit. Anyway, so what, what happens is it comes down. Yeah. Well, you have to be careful now not to take away from what God is trying to do. Because we're in a culture now that is more culturally correct to live how you feel versus living the word of God. Amen. In other words, it's more popular to do your own thing than to do what God is saying. So to the point to where they're indoctrinating you slowly with little scenarios here and there that you're just saying, oh, that's okay. I know I was sitting there watching something like, what's wrong with that? Everything. And so now you have to almost get bold enough to be able to speak against something that goes against what God's word says. Right. But in a way that it can be said with love. Right. Amen? Because you know, we love everybody, but me loving you don't mean I like what you're doing. Right. Any parents had their kids do stuff that they didn't stop loving them, but you sure didn't like what they was doing. Right. But they got it from you. <clears throat> so, <laughs> yeah, some of y'all just seen you being part of it right there. There they go. <laughs> You so hard headed, you so hard headed too. You so fast, man. You fast. Why you acting so mean? Because you was a thug. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me today. Anyway, so where we at? So David is men had to get to a point where we had to make a decision. And here's something that most people don't talk about: about the sensitivity of men. Those men, when they lost their families, the Bible says they just weeped. It didn't say they cried or they kind of just like, oh man, they they the new bubbles, everything. Yeah. Because it made them feel things. Yeah. It was let me cry on her breast. She let me just lay my head on her in just tears. And I got up from there and I was still a man. But she let me be. Because it still happens. Because there are times in my life that things get hard. And I get stressed out. Yeah, that's right. See, some of y'all don't, don't, don't act real. You always want to hear some fake stuff. But some real stuff is stuff that's tough around this game. I mean, it's hard out here in these streets. I can let you be all of you. And I thank God for my family that lets me do it. My Father died, I went home and cried like a pump. Yeah, I did. Fell out. And they just surrounded me and loved on me. Yes. I was still living that I need to be because they allowed me that moment. Women allow for men that moment. Get there. What's wrong with you, baby? You all right? Let me help you. Get to a place now to where you get that intimacy with your husband outside of the bedroom. Yeah. Because that's what's missing because we made it such a shameful thing to do that now people do it and do it on the level. But anyway, we do have moments. Amen? Amen. I'm too many of them. 
run for that. <laughs> but he had all of it. Amen. So anyway, they began to cry. They began to weep. And then they knew the next thing that men do, they got to We do right. So they want to blame David. David, your fault. We out here with you. Try to be carrying on. And our families got to the way. Kill him. Isn't that what men do, though? If they find out that something happened, first thing they do is blame the woman or blame somebody else for what happened that they allowed. Because when you leave your family and you leave them uncovered, you've now allowed the enemy to come in and wreak havoc. Right. Now, you still can lead your family from afar, but make sure you stay close in your distance. Make sure you're still there and they still sense that you're in the house, even if you're not. Right. So, David went and he said, look, y'all, let me pray. So David is a bad man. David, let's, let's talk about this. I'm not talking to God about this. He went to God. He said, God, shall we pursue or shall we quit? The Lord told oh, David, go get you. Man, fight for your family. Fight for your babies. Fight for your daughters, your daughters, your wives. Go fight for them. And so David said, come on, y'all. And said, we can't go no further. Because I know mean, some men have slowly given up on the things. Who y'all ain't saying? Who y'all ain't saying that? They're just absent but present. In other words, they really emotionally are gone, but they're just living in the same bed. But we got some people that now have become partners. Right. Romance. You know, I heard somebody told me, we see a set of rooms, I said, the devil is a yeah. I got five hundred rooms, I'm always sitting in my heart. It's a big, uh, big, big yeah. <laughs> I do it in my house, I have a towel for you, because I mean, they, uh, I'm like, <laughs>
Then my boy was saying, y'all ain't gonna sing that. My thing, get hit by the my watch. Let me study. I'm gonna chase no Let me come down the counselor.
to get to know and set your house up to know God. And I'm not talking about just know of God, but to really know God. The reason you kids the way they are, if you think about it, you really do deliver what was done to you. My voice tells the same thing. I'm not I'm not that way. I was like, we shall see. I can't wait until my son comes back to me. Still the pop pop. I got it. I was looking in the eye and say, why are you being so strict? <laughs> <laughs> because it's funny how we might not, there's some things that I got from my father that I didn't even recognize until I got older. And I'll share with my executive team in the back before we came out. I can't tell you that my father taught me just by watching He was a humble man, he had a great heart. Or you have 